Hello, Mama S here. It has been a long time since I've done one of these video blogs. Um, a lot of things have happened and maybe I'll do a couple of them today to kind of get things caught up. But my most recent post that I wrote a number of weeks ago is about guided meditation and about meditation. So those of you who know our daughter know that she struggles with self-regulation and um, a lot of self-regulation is really where I'm going to go with that. And we, I was on Facebook one day and I saw a quote from the Dalai Lama about how if every, I think it's eight-year-old, learned how to medicate or meditate, we could eliminate violence in one generation. Something along those lines, I have the exact quote in my blog. Um, but... It really resonated with me and I really got to thinking about it and the fact that our daughter could try meditation to kind of see if that would help. So we started small and we started with breathing techniques and the one that we started with first was you close your eyes, you relax, you breathe in for four seconds, you hold for four seconds, and you exhale for four seconds. And you do that a number of times. And ultimately you just do that until you are feeling more relaxed and more calm and more centered. And we started with that one and we would do that before bed because bedtime was also another time when we really struggled. And we would do that and um, it went really well. And then we got to the point where we needed a little bit something more so we started with some guided meditations on YouTube. Uh, we've done so many of them and I'd love to chat about the different ones that are out there. And we did a number of guided meditations on YouTube and um, at, at various times when she was struggling and when she would be getting really amped up or really overstimulated in her environment, we would pull out a guided meditation, she would do it for five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, etc., until it would calm her back down. And we were doing it at home, you know, we were by the pool or something along those lines, um, but it really came into play when we went on vacation. So we went out of state for the first time together as a family, and it was very overwhelming for her. All of the different sights, all of the different sounds, all of the different smells, and she was tired from an early morning flight and just a lot going on. And so we went back to the hotel, we put some guided meditation on, and she's like, thank you so much. And we went back out and we continued on with our adventure and our day. And we went on another trip where we went out of the country. This time we went to Canada and we were out and about. We were kind of taking in the sights, doing a bunch of stuff. And all of a sudden she said, I need to take a break. Can we go back and take a break? And so we went back to where we were staying and we did some guided meditation. And this one um, had her up and moving and, and doing a bunch of things. And I've got a picture of it in the blog post. And she just absolutely loved it. And I've talked to a couple of different people about guided meditations and about how, you know, meditation can really help. So fast forward to the school year starting and transitions and big shifts in routine and things along those lines are also a pretty big struggle in our house. And so I bought a generic iPod and I downloaded a few five minute guided meditations on YouTube and sent it to her special ed teacher and said, when she's having a hard time, go ahead and let her, you know, do these guided meditations, calm down, get back to class. The ultimate goal is five minutes and under and she's back in, in regular ed. And within the first week, they ended up needing to use it. And I think they've used it every day since um, in the afternoons to kind of calm down from having such an amped up kind of day. 
So there's a lot of different ways that you can use guided meditation. We do um, breathing exercises before bed to help unwind to go to sleep. Uh, like I said, we do guided meditation for anxiety and stress when we're in stressful situations and need to calm down. We do guided meditation for deep sleep and relaxation. Um, we do guided meditation for positivity and self self-talk and self-worth. Um, there are so many different guided meditations out there. Um, I just encourage you to um, take a look on YouTube or on iTunes to download a couple. Um, definitely a matter of personal preference and if you'll be able to be online or not. Um, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. What guided meditations work for you as an adult, for your children? Have you tried them? Have you not tried them? Things along those lines. So go ahead and let me know. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.